Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you today how to polish this nasty scratched up paint that we got right here. Let me show you how bad it is. So as you can see, there are scratches everywhere in this nasty paint. Look at all that. That is caused by having a dirty towel or going through an automatic car wash. And I take my black truck to the automatic car wash every single day. So I'm going to polish it out. First what we're going to do is clay it. I already washed it. So we're going to clay it and then we're going to polish it. Let me show you what I'm going to polish it with. Alright guys, so we already clayed it. Already got everything stripped off of it. If you know you're going to polish your paint, don't use a soap that has wax in it. It's just going to get stuck up in here. It's going to clog up the pad. You're not going to be able to polish with a clogged up pad full of wax. So, before you polish, you're going to want to wash your vehicle, clay it, wash it without wax. So you can use like palm olive or dawn, strip all that wax off. You know you're going to polish it. Clay it real good. You can use clay lube, Windex, anything just to keep the clay bar moving around. It's real simple. Already did that. Today's video is just about polishing. So I'm going to try and polish. I'm just going to polish one side. I'm going to let y'all see the swirls over here. It's going to be clean here. And uh, today we're using the Torx. Torx. I got a little kit. It's like 150 or 200 bucks off Amazon. Came with a bunch of pads. I'm going to be using the orange pad. That's uh, one of the uh, roughest pads that's in that package. And the Griot's Garage Correcting Cream. This stuff is amazing. It's almost gone. I think I used almost the whole bottle. So I'm just going to apply a few drops to the pad. Put it on the paint. And you always want to have a nice plush, plush microfiber towel water. So like I said, just a couple of dabs, as you can see. I'm going to take and just kind of push it on there, move it around a little bit. I'm going to take and turn it on to... I got to plug it in. I got to plug it in. Okay, I'm back. So, I'm just going to go up and down three times and side to side three times on a number four. I kind of got it all in there and do it on number four. Take our pad, or take our towel, I should say. Fold our towel in the force. We're gonna wipe off what we got, look at it, start again. Take my glasses off so I can see it. So I don't know if you can see from where you're at. I'm trying to move y'all in. See the swirls there, and that's where I polished. 
swirls, one pass of polish. Swirls, one pass of polish. I'm gonna do a couple more passes and then you'll be able to see it real good. So you just need a little bit of polish. Just a little bit of polish. Make sure you put your cord over your shoulder so it doesn't rub on the paint. Give your towel on your lap there. Apply it a little bit. Turn it on. my flashlight all right so it's daylight got my flashlight out here so you see some swirls there see the amount of swirls that are left can't really see them without the sun hitting it and you come over here that's a lot a whole lot not as many looks a lot better and that's just two little passes a whole lot so just do this a couple times and you'll get all those scratches out. All right, so pass number three. We're gonna do pass number three. You wanna get all these, you can't see them where you're at, but all these out, just a couple little drops. You don't have to apply too much pressure. You don't have to go too fast. Um, this machine won't go fast, it won't burn your paint unless you turn it all the way up and just hold it one spot for like an hour. It should be perfectly fine with this machine right here. Spread it on. Let's do it on a four again. See what happens.
shut it down, wipe it off, let's take another peek at it, see where we're at. I think I put too much polish on my pad, actually, you don't need that much polish. So there's a couple of swirl, couple of things in there. As you can see, now let's go over here to old trusty swirly. Look at those swirls. Car wash swirls. Not so car wash swirls. Guys, that's how you do it right there. Look at that mustache. Swirls. Oh, you can't even see my mustache. Swirls. You can't see my mustache. No swirls, beautiful mustache. That's how you do it, guys. So, one thing about this uh, polishing machine here, if you tilt it, tilt it like this, well, I guess if you see it, put it like that or tilt it like that, it won't spin this, it'll just vibrate it. It won't rotate. So, on the back here, we put some markings put some markings right here and you can tell if it's just vibrating or if it's actually rotating. Um, I'll put a link to this in the description below guys. Appreciate it, give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out without the camera rolling. I don't wanna waste all y'all's time. I'm gonna finish this side out. And then... All right guys, I just finished this side over here. So you can see how good it looks compared to swirls on this side look at that swirls and scratches I pull my truck out to the Sun so I can get some sunlight so look at that I just put my nasty finger on there and you can see some spots I don't know if you can see it real good I still got a couple little blemishes in there that you can see I didn't do the bottom part yet, but I'll do that right there. That's what the whole thing looked like. Now it looks like that. It looks real good. So this side over here, not done yet. I didn't put any wax on it. I figured I'm gonna wait till I get finished the whole thing before I wax anything. Man, it looks real good. Let's go talk about this pad. What's that? So this pad here, after you finish uh, one set like a tailgate or a door or a body panel, you need to take and clean this. You don't need to buy any pad cleaner, you don't have any special soap. Hot water takes that right out. Don't go to chemical guys buying a whole bunch of ridiculous nonsense to clean that pad. Hot water will clean that pad and I'm about to show you how. Alright guys, so we got the water hot. How dirty the pad is. Just doing half of the half the tailgate. Hot water. Look at it coming clean. Look at that. Don't buy pad cleaner. That's pointless. Take that hot water, go like that. Get the stick coming right out. Look at that. All done. Nice squeeze it. Just like that. Clean pad again. Hi right, guys, so my battery died earlier. So I went and charged my battery, got my little haircut. So I'm back. So I got a little bit more polishing. I got some stuff on the, the clean polish, the pad that we just used. Spare pad. So let me tell you about the stuff that I don't like. V36, don't like it. V38, don't like it. Stuff I do like. Griots. Where's my other stuff? Griots Correcting Cream. Griots Speed Shine. I got a whole a whole box of pads in here. Come, they come with a kit. Got the colors, red, white. There's a blue one in there. Uh, black one, there's a black one in there. They do various things. 
polish and pad cleaner stuff I said not to buy. It came with the kit, so I have it. It's a big waste. You just use hot water. Clay lube. That's pretty good. You can use Windex, though. Another thing of polish and pad. This is conditioner. I want you to put this on before you polish. Doesn't make any sense. This is pretty good. Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner. So I'll put a link from a Torque uh, polisher that I have. I'll put that in the bottom in the description. I'll put that in there. So that's about it. I'll uh, make some more videos. Of, I'll polish the, the door and then I'll polish the hood and I'll show y'all how well everything comes out. All right, guys. Thanks for thanks for stopping by my channel. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, watch my whole entire video. All right, peace.